guys, you guys have a lot of um, sexual tension between the two of you, we'll call it. Yeah, I guess, yeah. <laughs> and that sort of is the, uh, besides the, cr the murder solving, that's sort of the crux of the show, correct? Definitely. You know, they tried to create a show that was reminiscent of Moonlighting, mm -hmm. um, of the Thin Man, of His Girl Friday, where the guy and uh, girl characters had a lot of play and a lot of wit going on between them. But we'll have to continue to drag it out through the series. They'll never get together until maybe the you end, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but you do get to kiss other people, I hope? Yeah, we've been making out here and there. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Good to know. <laughs> now, they try to, I feel like they, they kind of downplay, because you're a detective, so they have to downplay your looks a little bit. Yeah. And make you seem a little more... Um, Detective-ish. Average, which you're totally not. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So is that good for the hair and makeup? It doesn't take as long? <laughs> They're frustrated. I think they would like to play a bit more, but yeah, uh, yeah you know, they want to make her as real as possible, so it's important to create that reality with the look and with yeah. um, even things like the walk. We had to, you know, be really diligent about finding the appropriate walk for Kate Beckett, mm -hmm. so um, they're very detail-oriented, and we're trying to create something that is believable for audiences. Now, you were a Bond girl. Uh huh? Yeah. So, um... Tell us about, like, I, you know, everyone would love to be a Bond girl. So what is it like to say, to be able to say I was a Bond girl? I would, it's fantastic to be able to be a part of that, um, that legacy, you know. I mean, that's something that I think half of the world has grown up on. James Bond stories, espionage, and beautiful people and wonderful cars. So it's fantastic. And Daniel Craig was amazing to work with, and so was Mark Forrester. I really, really admire and loved Mark Forrester. It was, it was a privilege. When 